Good morning from your house to mine today. Uh, a beautiful rainy day, a good day to get things done inside. As I saw many, many people outside getting outside things done yesterday. It was a beautiful day. Uh, Moose and I took our walk and were able to wave and say hi to a lot of people that we knew. So it was it was fun. It was a great day and it gave us some really good hope for summer to come and uh, those lazy, hazy days of summer <laughs> when we can um, get out and enjoy our beautiful state. Our devotional for today is called Weep Not For Me. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. He suffers for our sake. And for this reason, it grieves the Lord that his suffering should make us weep. He wants us to be happy, to praise God and give thanks for his grace and to glorify him and bear our witness, for it is through his passion that we receive God's grace and we were freed from sin and death and became God's dear children. For we are as slow to the one as to the other, for by nature we are contrary. When we should weep over our sins, we laugh. When we should laugh and our hearts should be joyful because Christ through his death has won eternal life for us, we weep. For either we have no regard for such joy because our hearts are bewitched by the merriment of this world, or we weep, lament, and pine as if Christ had never died, never paid for our sins, never stilled the wrath of God, and never redeemed us from death. Therefore, prayer is needed for both. First, that God, through the Holy Spirit, may touch our hearts, that he may make us shun sin, draw us away from it, and take away our trust in ourselves. Second, we need prayer that God may kindle in our hearts his comfort in the midst of sin and give us a fir firm confidence in our Lord's sacrifice and satisfaction. Let's pray. We weep, O oh Lord, for victims of violence in our time. We weep for those who are threatened with death by starvation. We weep for those unjustly accused. We weep for those who are ill and for those who care for those who are ill. We pray for justice for those people who don't have a home to hunker down in during this pandemic. For those in the world who have nothing have no way of separating themselves by six feet because their homes are only one single room. Lord, we ask that you be everywhere with everyone in the world today, and we pray for justice. Amen. <laughs> well, you can tell that it's starting to... Um, show on a few people that we've been staying away from places that we like to go. I'm finding that I actually have wavy hair if I let my hair get longer. Who knows, maybe I'll let it grow out. But those are the least of our worries, aren't they? Um, yesterday was a scary day going to the polls. I hope that as many of you as could do that did indeed go to the polls and vote. I know that I'm sounding rather irresponsible and I'm kind of flip-flopping, but 
right now in this world that we need some changes and we need them fast. And so um, hopefully, hopefully you got there and um, made a difference however you voted. If you weren't able to, hopefully in November, we'll be done with this and we can continue life, although it'll never be the way it, it was before, but we can continue life again. Um, we may even uh, do better this time around, realizing what's important and, and what isn't. Be good to your neighbors, take care of yourselves, stay clean, wash your hands, and stay away from other people as much as possible. We'll see you tomorrow.